Hello, friends. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us here today for episode 7 of A Detoured Path, where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute. My name is Chelsea Marie Maugé, and I'll be your host here today and every day on A Detoured Path. So to all our new and returning listeners out there, if you're finding yourself in need of a little reroute, are already meandering down that unforeseen pathway in life, whether by choice, force, or somewhere in between, or just interested in possibly thinking about things a little bit differently, this could be the show for you. We will be sharing personal accounts, stories, and a variety of perspectives in order to help us all gain a greater sense of community and connectivity in this little thing we call life. Just a little disclaimer before we begin, though we do try to keep a mostly G and or PG rating here at A Detoured Path, we are discussing life and life is not always G and or PG rated. That's just something to keep in mind in case you are listening with any little itty-bitty tater tots present. Chelsea, tell me a story. Child, she says to herself, because sometimes she has to whip out a can of older sister, mother auntie, I know you better than you know yourself best friend, I am a world-renowned and traveled guru for herself and say, can you please let go of whatever it is that you are holding on to and where you are going to be going in the future so that you can let go of where and whatever you've done and been in the past? Wait, what? Does she really mean... Can you please let go of where you have been in the past so you can let go of where you will be going in the future? No. Strike that. She didn't mean either, as in either or. She did, however, mean both. If we never let go of the past, we are bound to repeat it. What we focus on is what gets done. So by consistently focusing on the past, 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 infinitum, comma, the past, that is exactly what we will forever and ever get. We have already received it once. We don't need to receive it over and over and over and over again for the umpteenth time or times we choose to think about it, speculate about it, and go over, reconfigure our triggers, dissect, and diagram about it. The amazing thing about the past is it will be there. It will always be there. There is no changing that. The past is just like your rump. It's always there. It's behind you. Oh, honey, what is that you've got on your shoulder? Is it a chip or maybe a boulder? (laughs) Everyone wants to be seen, heard, and valued. Maybe just take that clay and see if it's malleable. Just because you've been one thing today doesn't mean that one thing you'll stay. We are all multifaceted, layered with depth. We are full of great valleys and hills with wide breadth. Don't let others' opinions of you keep yourself stagnant because they're simply not true. Take back your power. Don't give it away. Your power is greatness, and in greatness you'll stay. And the voice of Mufasa from Disney's Lion King, loomed like a cacophonous rocket hoverboarding in my ears. Remember who you are. Simba, remember who you are. Okay, who am I? She announced questioningly, demanding an answer in that very moment. Because 
Not only is my subconscious fully aware that something has become diagonally astray in my present day reality and has not been completely and fully realized just yet, nor is it quite on par with where it should be in its current state, but it has also been brought to my frontal lobe's attention in order to make sure that my consciousness is fully aware of it also. Beautiful. Thank you. So, so very, very much. Intention received. Gratitude descend uproariously now, please. Oh, and of course, enter woo-woo antagonists now. May they not throw bricks and send curses my way. No demons here, please. No demons here. She says, as the vicious, vehement ringing continues even more louder than before. Alexa, please translate visions, pictures, images, and surround sound message bites sent to me by way of code per Disney's pre-recorded script and sound bites now. Please and thank you. Pause. Alexa, now please. Please and thank you. Alexa, even longer pause now. Alexa, is this a pause for effect kind of thing? Alexa, turn your volume on. Alexa, where's my little book of answers pressed all clean and neat? At this point, I'm pretty sure Alexa, if Alexa was a real person, would probably think I was a raging lunatic. That, or under the influence of any of a number of chemical and or mind-altering substances. Well, you know, in retrospect, (laughs) I'm kind of glad Alexa is not a real person. Something. It calls me. It rings in my ears. It asks me to listen. It begs me to hear. The quiet, the calm, surrounding me still, like a cloud dissipating, giving way to my will. Guidance surrounds me. I plow straight ahead. The message is given, but have they been read? Impatience, a given, takes over my stance. Give it a beat. Please give it a chance. You must wait for the timing. Things will line in a row. It will all then make sense. Please stop asking. You know? Delusions of grandeur creep up in my head. Was it something I thought? Or something I said? Or could it just even be something misread? But does it all matter as long as evil's not fed? Just going through the motions, trying to feel just fine, not giving thought or long attention to unworthiness from thine. Expelling all the myths, the woes, the can'ts, and live withouts. Removing and reminding self that you are here. That's enough. No need for clout. A level head, some kind words said, an open heart and then, reminded of my favorite words. It's not I can't. It's Ken. Thank you so much for your time and attention thus far. We are just going to take a brief moment to recognize today's sponsor, Anchor, for providing a free platform for people like myself to get their podcast off the ground. With little to no previous technical know-how, Anchor makes the whole process pretty straightforward. Go to anchor.fm, that's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M, or download the free Anchor app today to get started. With just a click of a button, you too can be heard on multiple platforms. My favorite words are I can. If I refuse to use the word can't, in my active vocabulary, and you refuse to use the word can't in yours, 
And we all refuse the word can't. Does it really even matter what each of our can is? As long as we all get to where we need to go. Does it really matter if my can is the same as your can, 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 is the same as yours and yours and yours? If we are all just trying to do good in the world, is it really even worth arguing over? Is going back and forth between whose good is good, whose good is better, whose good is better and better and better and best and the best? Isn't that just a useless waste of time and emotion? Isn't all the fighting awfully tired and shouldn't we all just be on the same side anyway? If we are actually all on the same side, then why are we trying to outdo each other when the each of the other is already on the same page? I can turn the page after page after page after page after page after page after page, after page but eventually... The whole book has been turned and the whole book has been turned over. It's gone. It's done and it's done with. But can we honestly really even say that anything was really read to begin with? The page was there, but did we actually even see it? Did we actually even read anything that was on it? It was there for us to read. It was there for us to take in, absorb, and ponder, and have it be permeated throughout our entire day. It was there for us to work on. It was there to work for us, not against us. Only we can say what truly works for us in our given circumstances, but that doesn't therefore give us license to smear and dump all over someone else who is just trying to do good and do the same with what their given circumstances are. We're all just trying to do what we can with what we can. It was there for things to happen. It was there for things to change. It was there for us to grab and go. It was there to rearrange. It was there to cause some friction because things can't stay the same. It was there to learn the lesson and to now release the blame. The earth sits here aching, feel her rumbles and her quakes. She really is disgusted by all this mess that we make. Deluded, confused, and shocked how we use. Amazed the word neighbors, subtext is abuse. Dumbfounded and lacking grounds for a cause. Instead of lifting each spirit, we shred it like slaw. The ground has her pitfalls. You must look where you step. If you anger the soil, she will beat you in reps. Imagine, one day, her roots gave a smack. They lifted you up and laughed while they hacked. Imagine, we think we're in charge, that we are who's boss. But her decision is final. Tough luck, then, your loss. She's here to provide, to help and bring aid. But we must calm our temper, our rage, and our raid. She was always there. She's here to be on our side. But there are certain rules we then must abide. If we squander her spirit and her bountiful youth, to the dogs will be thrown. There will be no lasting proof. There's unlimited mountains and lush to explore. So we need to stop beating and bleeding her lot till it's sore. Tired and worn from the pain that she feels, let's reroute our direction and let's pick up our heels. If we can quiet our minds, maybe, just for a bit, we can feel and address her each moment we sit. By changing our thoughts and the pain in the air, we will show her that we do, and we do still care. So... Let's quiet the noise and quiet the funk. Weed out the racket and clear out the junk. Haven't we had enough for one day? I think our spirits just want to play. Fighting and fleeing from why we came here. A distorted perception and we are not even clear. Envision a future we can see fit. Manifest it and curate like treasures we sit. The gold is for mining. We're on the right course. 
Let's band all our forces and remove dark discourse. Beneath the surface, I'm related to you, so helping each other is just what we'll do. If we would spend just an hour, or possibly two, imagine all the good and the things we could do. We'll conquer the world before the sun rolls around, and we've done it together before our feet left the ground. Wow. What we can do powerfully alone, we can do exponentially more powerfully when we work as one cohesive unit. My blood is your blood. My skin is your skin. My thoughts are your thoughts. My sin is your sin. My kin is your kin. We are all connected. We are all interconnected. When one of us fails, all of us fail. When one of us falls, all of us falls. When one falls, it brings all the rest of us down with that one. If our expectations and standards are allowed to be lowered for one individual, gradually they start to lower the standards and expectations of the whole group. It is time we raise each other's voice because we are, in fact, all human. The word human by its very nature is singular, and so we are all one. We came from one, we came from one being, we came from one source, and we are the vehicle. And that vehicle is meant to be used and driven. If it can be dreamed, it can happen. If we can imagine it, it can happen. And we can make the change happen. But first, we must be the change we wish to see. If we don't like what we see, we must be the thing that changes so that we have something different and better to look at. So... What are we going to change today? And friends, that's all we have time for today. To comment, message, support, donate, and subscribe, please go to anchor.fm slash a dash detoured dash path. That's a-n-c-h-o-r dot f-m slash a dash d-e-t-o-u-r-e-d dash P-A-T-H. We are available internationally on over 20 platforms and going directly to our host platform, Anchor, is the best way to stay in the loop. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M slash A dash detoured dash path. Leave a review and our rating if you like what you heard and hit subscribe to get all the latest podcast information and updates. Hit support to help continue the workflow, volume, and frequency of a detoured path so that we can continue to flood your airways on a more regular basis. And in the meantime, if you're looking for more thoughts, stories, and insights while you're waiting for the next episode of A Detoured Path to come out, you can find the book Short Girl Diaries, Unedited and Grammatically Incorrect by Chelsea Marie Maget. Last name is is spelled capital M-A-U-G as in good, E R as in red, which is available on Amazon in both print and Kindle formats, as well as through the Kindle Unlimited program, where you can read pages for free. Follow me on Instagram at Chelsea Marie Maget, all one word, C H E L S E A M A R I E M A U G E R. Say the podcast sent you. So, until next time, my name is Chelsea Marie Maget. And you've been listening to A Detoured Path, where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute.